Okay, so in today's video, we are going to take a look at question 1 of test 1. So, it is given that the area of a triangle is given by K is equivalent to half of A, B, sine C when A is equivalent to 20, B is equivalent to 30, is it over? C is equivalent to 30, eh? C. C is equivalent to 30, so 20, 30, 30. To find the rate of change, okay. K with respect to A. K with respect to A, may I mention uh, dk over the A. So it's basically dk over the A. So K divide, I mean K differentiate with respect to A. Okay. Uh, K differentiate with respect to A. This is our K. Ni K. So differentiate lah. Uh, tapi nak differentiate sebab dia ada dua komponen <coughs> Satu trigonometric punya komponen, satu lagi macam algebra punya komponen So in order for you to actually, kalau kau nak solve Kalau nak differentiate, kau kena guna <coughs> product rule which is UV prime plus dengan VU prime So this in this case, U adalah U is half of AB Half of AB And then U prime equivalent to differentiate with respect to a so half and then a differentiate with respect to a dapat satu lah b yang lain constant so dapat half of b or b over 2 ok ok v pula what is v v is sin c sin c v prime ok v prime is basically uh, sin but cos so about so about cosine ah, sine about cosine, and then this one salim balik. Multiply with the uh, difference shade of d with respect to a right. The chest kat dalam ni. Okay, kat sini ada a tak ada a. So bila tak ada a, dia automatically jadi apa? Jadi kosong. Apa apa darab kosong dapat kosong. So V prime is 0 <coughs> Okay, what is U? Let's look at U V prime plus dengan V U prime What is our U? U kita adalah <coughs> U kita half of AB Half of AB ataupun A ataupun So half Half of AB And then multiply with V prime V prime is 0 So automatically kita, we know that this one is 0 Then V is Where is V? V is sin C V is sin C <coughs> Multiply with U prime U prime is B over 2 B over 2 <coughs> So automatically we get B over 2 Darab dengan sin C lah Okay This one The answer for A but, tapi tak siap lagi Dia ada bagi value tu kan In which case B berapa B B is A je 20 Yang lain semua 30 So, B is 30 30 divided by 2 is 15 lah 15 sin C tadi 30 You calculate, you should get the answer lah In this case, the answer is So, 15 sin 30 but 7.5 Dah Settle That is That one is for A That one is for A <coughs> Then we have B uh, K with respect to C K with respect to C uh. K With respect to C What is K? K is this one K with K with respect to C. So I'm just gonna product rule again. So uh, we have to identify kita punya U. So let's get the V. So U kita apa? Our U is half of AB. Half of AB. U prime is zero. Kenapa? Sebab kita sebab tak ada sebab kita differentiate with respect to C. Kita differentiate with respect to C. 
Lepas tu kat sini tak ada C So dia jadi 0 That's why dia jadi 0 Sebab ni semua constant So dia jadi 0 And then V V kita apa? V kita sin C Sin C V prime nampak apa? Sin nampak apa? Sin C salin balik Darab dengan D over DC Sebab kita differentiate with respect to C Okay Pak cosine C Multiply with Ini differentiate dapat 1 So dapat cosine C This is our V prime Now U V prime plus with V U prime Kita punya U apa? Half of AB So kan Half of AB Multiply with V prime V prime apa? V prime pak cosine C about cosine C plus with V what is our V? sine C sine C multiply with U prime U prime per 0 0 so automatically this one is 0 ni tak payah kakli lah sebab ada kosong so ni dapatlah half of AB cosine C plus 0 So, half A tadi 20 kan? 20 B 30 Cosine 30 2, 2, 3, 6 6, maknanya 600 600 daripada bawah itu 300 300 Cosine 30 Tekan calculator dapat The answer should be 300 cosine 30 eh? 300 cosine 30 259 259 point 8 1 lah tu answer B settle C reaction B with respect to A B with respect to A tu kat atas pula C ok B with respect to A ok K tadi apa K our K is Half of A, B Sine C So dia nak uh, B with respect to A kan B with respect to A So kalau K divided by half 1 over 2 dapat 2K Skiver into A, B Sine C Okay And then uh, apa? Mm, 2K So, ni dua komponen yang berlainan. 2K divided by sin C. Dapat AB. And then, sambung sini lah. 2K divided by sin C ni. Divided with. Kita divide dengan. Dengan A. So, I didn't jadikan B sebagai subjek. So, maksudnya 2K. Over sine C Multiply with 1 over A Then we get our B So dia akan jadi apa ni Dia akan dapat uh, 2K Over sine C Ni A Dia sudah darah A kat sini uh, And then equal to B Then B with respect to A kan Okay So ni equation baru kita Which is B equivalent to 2K over A A sin C B with respect to A Ni kalau pecahkan balik tadi dia akan jadi 2K over sin C Darat dengan 1 per A Okay Ataupun 2K Eh, sekejap tak payah Tak pun lagi senang uh, Macam ni lah 2K over Sin C uh, Sebab dia sekejap Sebab dia kat sini Dia paling senang macam ni So, dia sebabkan kat sini dia dah tu So, 
B differentiate with respect to A Jadi di 2K over Sin C Maksudnya ni dapat 1 So 1 darab dengan sin C So This is Our new equation uh, the, uh, Okay Rate of change lah okay. So this is the not rate of change of Rate of change of B with respect to A ya. So 2K over sin C ya. Ni jawapan dia Sebab kita differentiate A Dalam equation B So I ingat bahasa yang tu kan Dalam equation B Kita differentiate A Tu maksudnya eh, with respect tu Just simply maksudnya macam tu ya. Dalam equation B kita differentiate A So once kita differentiate A Substitute so value Tapi sebelum tu Sebelum tu K terupa pula K tadi K kan ni kan K is equivalent to Half of Ni dia dah bagi Half of AB Sin C Ni masukkan je value Nanti dapat uh, Half Times dengan 20 Times dengan 30 Sin And then times dengan 30 And you will get 150 Nanti dapat 150 So K tu value dia should be 150 So 2 times 150 Divided with Sin Sin berapa tadi? C30 So nanti dapat jawapan Six hundred. That is the value of. I mean, that is the rate of change of v with respect to a. When k and c are constant, so k and c kita jadi constant. So that no salah. Okay, kita je once kita dapat nyonya kita kita dapat differentiate a, betul kita sasi the value deh. Sasi the value of uh, a, b and c. A sorry, k and c. Nanti kita apa? The value of B I mean Ni bukan B ni delta B over delta A Do you know The rate of change of B with respect to A So question 1 should be straightforward Okay so now let's moving on to question 2 Question 2 Pos nang je Question 2 is basically Direct uh, to Good Dia nak uh, delta Z over delta X And Delta Z over delta Y Delta Z over delta X And delta Z over delta Y And then bagi kita equation Z is equivalent to X squared over Y And then plus with Y squared over X X squared over Y plus with Y squared over X So convert dulu First kali convert pada Index form Supaya tak keliru Then baru kita differentiate with Then apa With respect to x So kita buat delta z Over delta x dulu So kita differentiate lah x squared dapat 2x Y negative 1 plus with Y squared Ni dapat negative x Negative 2 And then once kita dah tukar pada Once kita dah dapat Ni dua form kita tukar balik lah So 2x Y negative 1 maksudnya y kat bawah Plus with y squared Y squared So tu dia negative Okay negative And x squared X squared So maksudnya 2x Over y Minus Y squared Over x squared Nak tinggal macam ni, kalau nak tinggal macam ni boleh, kalau nak samakan dia punya tu pun boleh Samakan denominator ke, tapi Specifically, settle lah That is dz over, dz over dx Now, dia nak cari dz Over dy So, sign balik Equation 3, which is X squared, y, negative 1 Plus with Y squared uh, Oh, sorry X negative 1 X squared Y negative 1 Plus with Y squared X negative 1 And then we differentiate with respect to Y So X Kalau kita saling balik Ni dapat negative Y Negative 2 
plus width. Do I square part? Do I? X negative 1. So in negative, so negative. X squared, X squared over Y squared. Uh, plus width. Do Y, do Y, do Y, do Y. Okay, X, 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 go over. Nah, settle. Okay, so this is basically delta Z over delta Y. Then we give big value, that is the value. So, that is the first partial derivative. Let us through the second derivative one. So, first, so first, first, first. Ah. Okay, so let's set the question two. Settle. Now, let's take a look at question three. Proving. <laughs> Oops, okay. Proving. Okay. Discover. Okay. Z equivalent to ln apa-apa dah nampak macam ni tukar pada index form x squared plus y squared 1 over 2 sebab square root kuasa dia 1 over 2 by now you should know lah yang square root 2 dia punya kuasa memang 1 over 2 kalau tak tahu then you will need to actually kukuh you punya foundation your basic so by now you should know lah yang square root 2 kuasa dia 1 per 2 and then to show that x delta z over delta x x delta z over delta x plus with y delta z over delta y is equivalent to 1 ok so kita cek ni dulu delta z over delta x ok so delta z over delta x x X equivalent to differentiate. So kalau differentiate, automatically differentiate ln dah kena jadi reciprocal. So saya ambil x squared plus y squared one over two. Multiply with the same same function. Tapi with respect to x lah, sebab kita buat delta z over delta x. Squared plus y squared. Nanti satu bracket one over two. Okay. Right. So, let's set the guy in two X squared plus Y squared. Okay, and then multiply with. Hmm. Yep. Okay, ini differentiate luar dulu. So, satu per dua. Then, X squared plus Y squared. Then, satu per dua tolak satu. Lepas, negative satu per dua. Then multiply with uh, uh, d over dx. d over dx of the alarm lah. x squared plus y squared. Okay. So 1 over x squared plus y squared. Over 2. Multiply. <coughs> multiply with 1 over 2. Uh, x squared. Plus y squared of negative 1 over 2. Multiply with a differentiate with respect to x apart. 2x. Ini apart kosong sebab constant. Y apart kosong sebab ada constant. Okay. Then kita dapat lah macam ni. Squared plus y squared. 1 over 2. Multiply dengan. Ni susun balik lah. Susun balik. Kita akan dapat 1 over 2 times again. Apa ni? X squared plus Y squared. 1 over 2. And then 2X darab dengan 1 dapat 2X. Okay. Dapat 2X. So ni darab. So, darab kerana dia dapat 2x over 2 x to power x squared plus y squared kan square, uh, 1 per 2 dar 
darab 1 per 2 tambah darab 1 per 2 dapat bukan darab tapi so ada index so 1 per 2 campur 1 per 2 dapat 1 lah so sebab tu kuasa si 1 ok so this is delta z over delta x and then kita nak cari delta z over delta y delta z over delta y is equivalent to ok kita boleh atas tu uh, ln x squared y squared go to ln x squared plus y squared 1 over 2 ok ok so kita ni lah differentiate with respect to y sama juga so dapat reciprocal Ya ni kena tahu lah kenapa dia reciprocal tu jangan tanya sebab tu dia punya memang dia punya law lah tengok balik pada index dan sebelum ni chapter chapter 3 yang paling atas tu dia ada chapter 3 dekat dekat index blah blah index tu kena refer balik pada table tu memang law dia so, so jangan tanya kenapa tu memang law dia lah tu memang kena hafal kalau ln, differentiate dapat sorry, circle Kalau exponent, differentiate Kita kena salin balik uh, Semua sekali And then kita darab dengan the differentiation of the Power of the exponent Macam tu So 1 over uh, Sekejap 1 over apa ni Ni x squared plus with y squared 1 over 2 Multiply dengan Multiply with the uh, D over D Y D over D Y of ni lah X squared of D over D Y of the function Okay Okay so ni saling balik Pada X squared plus Y squared 1 over 2 Ni multiply with Ni kalau differentiate part 1 per 2 kat depan So ada bracket So X squared plus Y squared 1 per 2 tolak 1 dapat Negatif 1 per 2 Lepas tu kena darab dengan dalam dia D over dy Bukan dx D over dy of Of y squared Dan kita kena dapat X squared plus y squared 1 over 2 Ini multiply with 1 over 2 Of x squared Plus y squared Negatif 1 over 2 Ni multiply dengan <coughs> Multiply dengan ni Deficient with respect to I dapat 2 I lah Ok Dapat 2 I yang saling balik Dapat X squared plus Y squared 1 over 2 <coughs> Then multiply dengan uh, Ni turun bawah So dapat 1 over 2 <coughs> Times dengan X squared plus Y squared 1 over 2 Then 2y multiply by 1 is equivalent to 2y <coughs> Sama juga macam tadi 2y multiply by 1 dapat 2y Ni dapat So 2 dah 2 coefficient sama Cuma x squared Plus dengan y squared Kita jadi 1 Ok So this is our delta Z over delta y <coughs> Ok ni kuasa satu eh ok so sekarang dia mana tadi sekejap dia suruh proof <coughs> dia suruh proof ni kan so proof dia cakap yang x multiply with delta z over delta x plus with y multiply with delta z over delta y is given to 1 so x x lah Multiply dengan delta z over delta x Kita tadi apa? <coughs> delta z over delta x Is this one 2x over 2 2x <coughs> over 2 And then x squared plus y squared Kuasa 1 kan? So 1 Plus with y uh, Ni apa tadi? 2y <coughs> 2y over 2 x squared plus y squared equivalent to 1 cakap equivalent to 1 kan ok so darab dapat 2x squared over 2 x squared plus y squared then plus width ni dapat 2y squared over 2y darab 
2 y dot y dapat lah 2y squared kan 2y squared dapat 2 x squared plus y squared ni denominator sama denominator oh jap sorry equal 1 ok denominator sama so kita boleh gabung dengan dia so ni apa 2x squared ok 2x squared plus with ni apa 2y squared so 2y squared divide with ni sama kan denominator sama so 2x squared plus y squared equal to 1 so ni kita keluarkan 2 and keluarkan 2 dapat x squared plus y squared over 2x squared plus y squared so potong sama tak? sama so bila benda yang sama kita boleh potong-potong dapat 1, 1 1, so 1 bagi 1 4, 1 Soft. That is for question 3. That is for question 3. Now question 4. Question 4. Okay. Question 4 is the application of. Is the application of. Apa ni orang cakap. Application of. Ni yang paling menarik. This one is the. Most interesting one lah. Okay. So yang lain semua macam tak. Tak menarik lah. Ni yang paling menarik. Okay. So, the altitude h of a right circular cone Okay, so ni kan circular cone There is a circular cone Okay, dia punya Dia cakap cacing Sebab dia decreasing kan, decreasing Decreasing maknanya negatif So, dia cakap ada cacing Cacing of h Is decreasing at Dia negatif So, bila decreasing dia negatif Negatif 3 mm per second Lepas tu, radius R is increasing. Increasing maknanya, cacing R. Cacing R. Ataupun delta, delta R. Dia sebenarnya, uh, semi-delta ke benda lah. Nama dia, <coughs> the proper name lah untuk, untuk cacing ni. Dia semi-delta apa benda tu lah. But that's how it is lah. Tapi kita panggil dia cacing je for now. So, cacing R is equivalent to 2. 2 meter millimeter per second ok by partial differentiation uh, determine how fast the volume by partial differentiation determine how fast how fast the volume V changing how fast the volume V changing the <laughs> when the altitude and rate ok altitude by altitude to H uh, hike and altitude 100 Radius dia adalah 50 Ok Lepas tu formula dia bagi V ke variant tu 1 over 3 Pi R square H Ok Pi R square H Kan V ke variant tu 1 over 3 V ke variant tu 1 over 3 Pi R square H Ok Alright So dia nak How fast the volume V changing What the altitude Ok So maksudnya benda yang changing adalah increment So dia nak charging V lah So charging V is equivalent to Is equivalent to delta V over delta R Multiply dengan charging R Campur dengan delta V over delta H Multiply dengan charging H uh. Okay So kita kena cari yang cacing R dah ada, dia dah bagi kan? R dah ada Cacing H pun dah ada Sekarang kita kena cek delta V over delta R tu So delta V over delta R senang ni cari Tengok balik pada formula ni So based on the formula uh, Dalam equation V kita differentiate R So 1 over 3 Pi Differentiate R, R squared dapat 2 R And then dapat H So 2, 2 pergi sini lah So 2 per 3 Pi R H So ni dapat lah delta V over delta R Sekarang ni delta V over delta H pula Kita nak So this one cons uh, Differentiate H kan Differentiate H dapat 1 So 1 over 3 pi R square 1 over 3 Pi R Square Sebab ni H tu 1 Kita dah differentiate So dapat lah 1 over 3 Pi R square 
Den sa sitt ju läkare mig. Det är vi över det här arvet. Det är vi över det här. Det är vi över det här. Skriver den till. Two over three. Pi. R over R. R. R50 H100. Okay. 2 over 3 pi R Eh, R over 3? 50 <coughs> R50 R50 <coughs> Pi R, R50 And then H is 100 Then uh, 2 over 3, okay And then multiply dengan mm, Charging R Charging R dapat 2 Unit semua sama So kita tak payah tukar unit Delta V over delta H adalah Ni lah 1 over T pi R squared 1 over 3 Pi pi R kita tadi 50 Pi R Ni squared Then multiply dengan charging H Charging H adalah Negatif 3 Negatif 3 Ni kita akan kata apa eh So, saya kata, okay, 2 over 3 Multiply with pi 2 over 3, multiply dengan pi Multiply with 50, multiply with 100 Then, times by 2 Dapat dah 20 20 over ni 20,943 0.9 5 And then kita plus with Posi dah negatif Of course dapat negatif So apa ni uh, Okay Multiply with Pi multiply with 1 over 3 Pi multiply with 1 over 3 Right through And then multiply with Negative 3 But negative 7 8 7, 8, 5, 4 lah Senang Seven eight five four. Okay. So two zero nine four three point nine five two zero nine four three point nine five plus six answer should get around thirteen thousand. So I need a millimeter. So so thirteen thousand thirteen thousand and ninety lah. Round off. Dia sepatutnya 89 something lah Dia Sorry Dia dalam 89.97 Ni jawapan dia dah So jap Tu je kan Tu je lah So that's how Those are the answer For test 1